This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me right now is Raouf Halim. He is the president and CEO of Spectra 7 Microsystems. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, SEV on the TSX Venture and SPVND on the OTCQB. And you can actually see Raouf give an investor presentation at our upcoming virtual event, the SNN Network Summer Virtual Event, happening August 17th through 19th. To register and see his presentation, please go to conference.snn.network. With that, Rauf, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good to be here. Thank you for having me, Robert. It's great to have you. So the last time that we did an individual interview together, um, you were actually, you were just on the panel actually at our event uh, that I invite everybody to go and check out. Um, but the last time we, we spoke individually that we published was on December 30th, 2019. So about 18 months and change. So love to get an update. You know, what's been going on at Spectra 7 or some of the highlights since then? You know, a great deal has changed with the company, really all in, in a very positive direction. Uh, first of all, we survived 2020, which in itself was no mean feat. But uh, really, as we worked our way through 2020, uh, we continued to build a, a head of steam on our design center uh, market uh, initiative. And in particular, we're now up to 88 design wins in the hyperscaler data center space uh, as worked our way through 2020, which was difficult from both demand as well as supply perspectives. We actually grew our revenue sequentially every quarter as we worked our way through 2020 and started this year of 2021 with record order backlog, most of which is coming from the data center space specifically. So where we are, Robert, as compared to when you and I last spoke is really in a very different place. At the time that we spoke, we had been making uh, significant investments in our product suite uh, that serves hyperscaler copper cabling infrastructure in particular. And we built up a lot of design wins were being tested and qualified by a number of operators. Where we are today is we've actually gone to the next stage of our growth where a number of those design wins have actually flipped over into actual hard orders. And we have record order backlog now on the books as we work our way through 2021. So it's a very different place to be. So Raul, I'd love to learn more about why they're, they're, this backlog is there. You know, can, can you describe that? Yeah, absolutely. It's a very strong uh, tailwind of, of design wins. The, the technology that Spectra 7 has developed and pioneered is something generally called active copper cabling. This is a technology by which we basically turbocharge uh, traditional copper cabling interconnect within a data center infrastructure. Our devices, our chips that we develop are embedded within the harness, within the copper cabling connectors themselves and actually provide something akin to a boost function for the signal to travel down an inexpensive and ubiquitously available copper cable. By doing that, by boosting and compensating the signal so it can travel greater lengths at higher speeds, we're able to extend the inherently lower cost as well as lower power benefits of copper cabling to a much higher speed of interconnects within the data center, okay? A number of operators, um, data center operators, uh, both in North America as well as in China and other geographies are going through a process of upgrading their existing data centers in terms of speeds and feeds. Virtualization has continued, services, content, you name it, uh, obviously accelerated now by the, the change in, in uh, work and life patterns brought about by COVID. Uh, so we're seeing a real knee in the curve in terms of adoption of Spectra 7 technology, okay? We have, hate per, we have made particular inroads with operators around the world. We can talk about that in a minute, but a lot of that, uh, of that hard labor is now bearing fruit in the form of uh, production ramps and orders on the books today. Very good. Well, I'd love to hear a little bit more about some of the partnerships that you've that aren't, as you said, are starting to bear some fruit. And then also a little bit more about the competitive landscape. You know, what, what does this look like right now for Spectra 7 and where does it see itself? Sure. We've been very public about our target hyperscaler uh, customer universe. It's in our investor presentation, our website, and also in the presentation that I will use uh, when I present at the SNN event. Uh, but in particular, we target hyperscalers. Those are the big nine as they're often referred to. In North America, that's what people call the G Mafia, Google, Microsoft, on and on, you know, the names. Uh, but in, in China, they're known as BAT, Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent. 
We have made significant penetrations with all the above. In fact, the 88 design wins that I, that I referenced, about two thirds of those are with North American operators, about a third with China-based operators. Of note, uh, our partnership with Tencent is now public information. Um, you and I probably talked about that briefly in 2019, uh, but uh, we have been publicly adopted and built into the Tencent infrastructure, which is one of the largest in the world, and certainly in terms of growth, one of the very highest uh, growth rates of any infrastructure driven by applications like WeChat and real-time video and so on and so forth that Tencent is famous for. Uh, but, be, but it goes well beyond Tencent. Uh, the bulk of the orders we have today are really for that sweet spot of hyperscaler infrastructure that we have to target now for many years. Well, Raul, thank you so much for all those updates. I really do appreciate it. And you know, before I let you go today, you know, from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of 2021 going into 2022? So I'd say, Robert, first and foremost is uh, really nonlinear hyperbolic revenue growth that we expect over the course of the second half of this year going into next year, 2022. Again, driven by the significant revenue ramps that we're experiencing in the data center particularly. We expect in the second half of this year to turn profitable. We've actually guided to that a couple of times and announced we expect profitability, which today is determined more by our ability to supply the product as opposed to demand. Demand is very, very strong today. Very good. Well, Raul, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on Spectra 7? Spectra7.com is always your best friend, but also at SNN, clearly, uh, my presentation and the material we'll provide, uh, I think will also give a, a helpful update. Thank you. I, I like that. Nobody's ever called their website their best friend. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Raul, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. I look forward to our next update. You too. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you.